These tragedies are just the very latest in a string of mass shootings kicking off 2023. Yeah, we're diving deeper into this. WPTV's Matt Sesney looking into the numbers and why it may be happening. Matt. Yeah, Jay Shannon, the why may not necessarily be an easy answer, but the frequency of these mass shootings is alarming. Already more than there have been days in the new year. We've seen a spike in the last week. So I can say that we bumped up about 25% this week. Mark Bryant would know these things. His website, the Gun Violence Archive, tracks all sorts of gun violence around the country. And this month, the data points to 39 mass shootings this month. Shootings where four or more have been at least injured. Five of the shootings have been in Florida, including the Martin Luther King Day shooting in Fort Pierce that left one dead and seven injured. It really boils down to simple math. More people have more guns. Uh, the guns are uh, capable of carrying 30, 60, 100 round magazines. Uh, so it's also it's, it's really boiling down to math. You have more people with more guns, more anger. Anger is one thing Bryant points to when looking for underlying reasons. It's becoming a concern. Criminologist and author Dr. Debbie Goodman in Miami says gunmen may also be spurred on by other shootings. For me as a criminologist, they are very purposeful and sometimes it's enough of a tipping point, if you will, as you mentioned, when they do see others who have done it and now they're in the spotlight, so to speak. And that leaves many struggling with the stress and anxiety of a violent first month and wonder where it all leads. I do believe strongly as a criminologist that we, are, we should be always mindful daily of safety, security and survival. And that really is likely the effect this may be having on all of us. The thought now that this can happen anytime and anywhere. Live in West Palm Beach, Matt Sesney, WPTV, News Channel 5.